February came Don't want to throw it all away I said feel like you're gonna balance hair and um, good evening everyone I've just propped you on top of the microwave and um, because I thought I'd start the vlog so it's a little bit random because you might be able to see it outside but it is pitch black now it's 5 44 in the evening I have not long finished up filming for the day I've had such a busy day today just getting a lot of content done that I've kind of like not been putting off but I feel like I always like to organize when I do and film certain content so today has been like a fashion based content day so I've had like two fashion videos to do some reels and honestly it's took all day since nine o'clock I've been filming um, and yeah like I say it's nearly six o'clock now so saying that I then just thought I'd pick up the camera and start vlogging because do you know when you're in one of them moods where you've been kind of like talking all day you feel quite chatty and I'm about to do dinner which is one of my favorite times of the day um, and even more so when I've got something really delicious to cook and I know you guys see it when I get up to in the kitchen so yeah I thought I'd just pick up the vlog now and then go from here and probably just vlog across the next couple of days. Um, so tonight I actually have HelloFresh, which I'm so excited about. Um, so this part of the video is actually in collaboration with HelloFresh. Um, but if you guys have been here a while now, you will know I love HelloFresh. I buy them myself at my own money when I'm not working with them. I genuinely love HelloFresh so much. So if you don't know who HelloFresh are though, let me just give you a quick and brief overview of who they are and what they do. They are essentially a meal subscription service. So you can sign up and then you'll basically get access to a load of different meals that you can choose from. They have so many um, and they have things like rapid meals. So ones that are suited to someone that maybe doesn't have as much time. Um, they have family friendly ones. They have ones that are like under 600 calories. They have veggie ones. They have honestly just a wide range and there's always different things on the menu each week, which I love as well. And I've said this before, but the main reason why I love Hello Fresh is because I am useless at thinking what to do for dinner useless and I like wholesome nice healthy home cooked food and honestly I find it so hard like going shopping thinking of what to cook and then it never ends up being that great whereas genuinely when I do Hello Fresh, I feel like I'm some kind of chef because they honestly taste like so restaurant worthy I'm like oh my god did I actually make this um so they come with meal cards as well so really simple to follow they literally have step-by-step -step instructions on the back tells you all the ingredients which come in little bags all bagged up for you and obviously the numbers correlate to the bag so it's literally so simple even if you're not much of a cook you will be able to follow this and do this let me tell you like mitchell's i say mitchell's not much of a cook he does like cooking but i feel like he needs step-by-step -step instruction so this is perfect for him so anyway this week i've got three meals we have actually had one already the other night we had steak which was so good um but for the rest of the week we've got oven baked goat cheese risotto with mushrooms and rocket i'm having this tonight you guys will already know how much i love risotto and i've not tried this one from HelloFresh yet so i'm so excited for that um, and then I also have a lemon and prawn linguine with peas that we're going to have, I think, on Friday. And then I also picked up this, which is a brunch option, which I don't know when we're going to have this. Maybe Saturday morning. Buttery honey cinnamon pear pancakes with crispy bacon and toasted almonds. How amazing does that sound? So, yeah, those are my meals for the week. Um, but, yeah, like I say, if you haven't tried Hello Fresh already, then, honestly, you're missing out. It's the most convenient thing that will enter your life. So, literally, just go to your recipe pile that you've selected for the week and then just see what you fancy that particular evening and then you're good to go and also i do just want to say as well i always think it's really good value for money because there's no waste to just wear out like you're not going to have any food waste you get the exact amount of portions that you need and the hello fresh dinner start from three pound 15 per portion which i don't think is bad at all so anyway i do actually have a discount code and this is one of the best discount codes i think i've ever had for hello fresh so you'll actually get 60 percent off your first box 60% that is literally insane and then you'll also get 25% off your next eight yes you had it right eight boxes after that so honestly take advantage because I've never ever had a discount so good as that and it's an amazing saving and like I say I cannot rave about HelloFresh enough so I'll pop that on screen and in the description box so definitely check that out and I will leave the link as well so you can sign up if you'd like to try some delicious food so anyway guys I've talked enough for now so let's get on to the cooking This February came 
Okay guys, so dinner is served. Honestly, how good does this look? Literally looks something straight out of a restaurant. Um, but anyway, I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go and sit down. Don't forget to check out HelloFresh, guys. I will leave my discount code in the description box for you to check out. Um, and like I say, you'll get 60% off your first box and 25% off your next eight. So don't miss out on that offer. Good morning, everyone. So it is Tuesday morning. I am so cold. I don't even know what the temperature is. What is it saying? I don't think I can see on my um, dashboard at the moment. It normally just tell me. It's definitely got to be minus. It is so cold. My car is all iced up this morning. Um, and yeah, it just feels really bitter out. There's definitely like a really cold wind. Oh, I was thinking, you know, as the months go by, it's going to start obviously getting warmer because we hit spring and then obviously summer. But no, it's still cold. We are still having cold mornings. Um, and do you know what? I just always feel like when it's dark and cold in the morning is it just me or does it not just make you feel a little bit like more unmotivated harder to get out of bed i don't know what it is at the moment but the last couple of weeks i have really struggled i am really struggling with just like motivating myself in the mornings getting up at a good time like obviously working for yourself anyway is a hard job in itself really of self-motivation like you definitely need that when you know either you have your own business or you know you do work from home i guess if you work from home for a company it's probably a little bit different just because normally you have to like sign on for a certain time so you've got to be up for then but like for me i obviously don't have set working hours so i set them myself and i think for me it's very important that i have a productive routine and make the most out of my days especially because mitchell gets up at around quarter past six i think he picks his workmate up for like around half six starts work at seven um so his actual working hours are like seven till he comes back at half three most days so Therefore, I kind of have to not match his working hours, but getting up earlier basically is going to allow me more time on my own until he comes back, if that makes sense. So usually I like to get up around seven-ish because then I can get up, get downstairs, feed the cats, just like do a quick tidy around the house, just to keep on top of it. You know what it's like with a house. Um, uh, and then, yeah, like I can just sit down for like 10, 15 minutes of a cup of tea and just, I don't know, like kind of wake up, maybe go to the gym if needs be. But... I'm really missing that extra hour like at the moment I'm not getting up until eight like I just feel exhausted and I don't know if I'm doing this to myself because I kind of like half wake up when Mitchell goes then I like like grab my phone and go on it then I go back to sleep then I'll wake up at like seven ish and think oh I need to get up but then I'm like oh I feel tired and then I just like fall back to sleep so I don't know if it's the constant like waking up and falling back to sleep because I don't know about you guys but sometimes I feel like as soon as you wake up you've got to get up because then it actually makes you more tired if you then doze off into another sleep is this like sunlight coming through i hope the lighting's okay um so yeah anyway you probably really didn't want to hear this chat or <laughs> bothered by this but just thought i'd let you know how i'm feeling because i'm sure maybe someone else is feeling like this at the moment but yeah for me i don't know what it is i don't know if it's something in the air i just feel exhausted in the mornings so tired and i'm just really struggling with getting up and then subsequently because of that i just feel like it's affecting my day a little bit and my self-motivation and just like my general mood of feeling motivated and wanting to work and stuff so yeah we're gonna try and like get on top of that this week because enough's enough now but anyway it's half past nine now i missed my gym class today i actually was gonna go to the abs and less class at quarter past nine the one i've been doing every week and i've been feeling so so proud of myself for going to that but you know what i just honestly i'm glad i've not gone and i've listened to my body because like i say i woke up this morning and i just thought i feel exhausted like almost like my body aches i just feel so tired and like lethargic i almost felt like a bit sicky as well and i just thought the last thing i want to do now is go to that hideous class I, I genuinely think i would have either been sick or like passed out like i just don't feel up to that today like that kind of like high intensity still want to make it to the gym i still want to you know go and get a workout in and like get them endorphins going and feel good about myself so i'm gonna go but just do something a little bit more lighter i might just do leg day or something um so anyway feels like this has been a very long car rumble i have just shoved a hat on as well because where i've still got these long sideburns if i ever want to put my hair up now i have to like slick these back and they're like dark brown um because last time i went basically leanne was saying that they're just they were still slightly too short to color them whereas now i feel like they're just 
just about long enough to put in foils um so yeah it's just a hat situ today anyway guys i'm gonna stop rambling i'm getting cold now because i've not got the heat in the car let's get to the gym i'll try and vlog as much as i can depending on how busy it is because as you will all probably be aware and know if you go to a gym um the first few months of the year just always feel so rammed because everyone go on the gym hype it's so funny isn't it because like when you're so used to going to the gym and not seeing so many people then and all of a sudden you go back to the gym in January, February, you're like, where have all these people come from? But obviously it's just the January, February hype. Uh, I'm hoping it's a little bit more quieter because it just seems to me, no matter what time I go to the gym at the moment, it is always rammed. And then, yeah, I don't know, I just don't like a busy gym. Anyway, right, I'm going. Bye. Throw it all away As shattered moments fall in vain You pick the pieces up and say back from the gym i'm just on my phone i don't even know why i've not put the camera up but just look at this look at this flu from the window <laughs> why is boo just the cutest little baby i don't know why i've not drawn the other side of the curtain so ignore that and then if we look here there's the other flu in the window that's the neighbor's guy he's got two cats as well um i just think it's the most adorable thing she just like waits for me to come home it honestly melts my heart and just never makes me want to leave the house um but anyway let's go inside okay guys i'm back from the gym um i just need to wash my hands first of all why do we not have any hand wash i'm just gonna use some very oh that's not right is it um but yeah need to wash my hands after the gym i did put some um anti back stuff on in my car but do you know we just need like a proper hand wash after you're switching gym equipment and you're gonna eat um anyway yeah so back from the gym wasn't like the biggest session i've ever done in my life like i literally just did a warm-up which was supposed to be 10 minutes on the cross trainer ended up being 20 minutes because i was actually watching some youtube honestly the gym sometimes is like therapy for me because it's like my time where i get just some quiet i can just because like when mitchell comes back in the evening it's not that it's not quiet but um we like watch series together and kind of like spend time together so i don't know i find it hard to just have my own time upstairs and watch youtube because he likes to spend time with me so gym is that like time where if i want to catch up with videos it's really easy to do that because i can just go and do some cardio and just put a youtube video on so yeah i was watching sasha in the gym and so yeah did 20 minutes and then i thought well i wasn't gonna go on the rubbers but they were all full so i ended up just going to the mats and just doing a little bit of an arm session and then just finished off with some abs so yeah it wasn't like the most full-on session but anyway the point of the story is i've got up i've been to the gym i feel so much better now i feel so much more alive and awake um, and i've actually just picked up um two things from mns let me show you um it's so expensive mns isn't it but it's just so good and obviously it's on the way back for, for me so it's just convenient and handy and i just wanted to get something in because i've not done a food shop this week because i've had hello fresh we tend not to go and do a big food shop because that's our evening meals mitchell um has like meal deals and stuff that works that's his lunch sorted so i don't have to get him any lunch and then for breakfast i always just tend to have as you guys know well my crunchy look not lately i mean i vary all the time as you guys know i'm not the biggest breakfast person but just of lately i've been really enjoying a bowl of crunchy nut before breakfast so obviously i've already got that in the cupboard we've already got milk so yeah it's like that's one great thing about hello fresh like we don't actually spend an awful lot of money on a food shop when we have hello fresh i mean obviously in this video um i have worked with hello fresh but like you guys know i genuinely have hello fresh and buy out my own money on a weekly anyway we normally just get free meals to be fair um just because mitchell sometimes out once a week um, but that comes to, like 30 quid and then yeah we'll probably just go shop and buy milk maybe some yogurts and stuff so we don't really tend to do spend a lot um anyway that was a ramble but because i've not got any like snacky things running in the cupboard because i haven't been and done a mini food snacky food shop yet um i thought i'd stop in at mns on the way back i picked up one of these ginger immune supports because i just need to get some vitamin in me and yeah like i say the gym has given me a definite boost in terms of motivation and i just feel a lot better now we're gonna have one of these i've never actually had one of these so i'm gonna get that down there and also i just wanted some protein i mean this is not the highest thing in protein um oh it's got per 100 grams 11 grams of protein just wanted some prawns i love these they're so nice and the little sweet chili dip oh my god so good but they're so expensive like this and this came to a fiver five pound but i don't do it every day um so yeah anyway i'm gonna have this now and get this down mate let's try the shot actually on camera 
Has any of you guys had this um, ginger shot? I feel like they do all different ones, don't they? Like turmeric and um, things like that. That's supposed to be really good for you. Oh yeah, I can definitely smell the ginger. Oh, I think I think it would have been best to shot it. Not I thought I'd sip it because I've seen the apple and I thought, oh, maybe I can just sip it. Oh, it's very gingery. To be fair, it's not that bad. I like ginger. Um, right, let's just get this down there. Oh my god, it's burning. It's burning in the back of my throat. Oh my god. Oh. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say about that, but apparently it's going to give me a source of vitamin C and yeah, ginger's just good for you in general, isn't it? I really want to get into juicing. I see everyone having these green juice in the morning and don't get me wrong, they look disgusting. But I just really want to now, now that I'm like getting a good gym routine, I need to sort my diet out and I need to sort what I'm eating um, for like breakfast lunch and in between because I'm really bad like I miss meals and that's not purposely at all that is just sometimes if I'm busy filming all day I like stop to just get food and sometimes I just don't get hungry it's really weird but I need to make sure I'm having my free meals because I was speaking to my cousin about it and she was like that's why you might not really be seeing a difference with your body because you have to make sure you're fueling your body constantly. And obviously, you know, when you start going without food for long periods of time, your body goes into starvation mode and then like your metabolism slows down and all that kind of stuff. So I really need to get in a good routine with my food and have like a really good balanced diet. And obviously I want to make sure that I'm having enough fruit and vegging and all that kind of good stuff. So yeah, I just need to sort out my meal times because at the moment I'm just, I'm all over the shop with it. So I'm thinking I might change up my breakfast because I is crunchy not okay? I guess it's okay, it's like a little pre thing to have before the gym, isn't it? I don't have an awful lot and I don't have an awful lot of milk either because I don't particularly like milk. I just like it. I do like a bit of a like a sugar rush in the morning. Mind you, saying that, I thought crunchy nut right was gonna be really bad for sugar. Cause I've said it to my mum before, mum's like, crunchy nut, it's full of sugar. And then she has like these porridge sachets and stuff sometimes, right? I was looking at them. They have more sugar in than the crunchy nuts. So, do you know what? People sometimes just think of like a cereal or something and think, oh, it's full of sugar. Not knowing that their own cereal has actually more sugar content. It's like granola. People obviously think that's like really healthy. And I think obviously it's got good properties in, hasn't it? But it is full of sugar. Um, so yeah, I need to talk about protein. That's one thing I know. So, I'm going to get some like more protein yogurts in because they're a really good like way of getting protein in because I've got 20 grams of protein. Um, and yeah, I just, I don't know, I need to look at some fitness people. My friend Liv's really good with all this, so I really should ask her. But anyway, I'm rambling now, and it's already saying seven minutes on here. Probably won't be seven minutes by the time I cut this down and edit it. <laughs> but um, yeah, I now need to go and get ready, because I'm actually seeing my grandma today. To be fair, I now I'm like, feeling the mood to like crack on with some like content and filming, because I have got so much to do. But I'm not seeing my grandma in two weeks, and you guys know me. I have to make a date with my grandma if it's longer than two weeks. Ideally, like see her once every, so like I'll see her one week, then miss a week, then see her. That's normally how it is. I mean, if I can, I'd fit her in every week and sometimes I do see her like more often. But yeah, I've had a lot on yet lately. I've got quite a lot of brand stuff going on. Um, anyway, the long and the short of it is, I'm gonna pick grandma up. Uh, I think she wants to go boots. We're gonna go maybe for some lunch. Um, so I'll only be out for a few hours and I'm gonna get back and smash out some filming because I've got loads to do. But, oh, do you know what, guys? Isn't it crazy how this morning I woke up feeling meh, like I just felt like I just could go back to bed. I felt really, I don't know, if, even if it was down, I just, yeah, I probably felt a bit down, to be honest with you, and just like, demotivated, couldn't get myself going for the day. And it's just crazy now, after a gym session and just getting out in the fresh air and putting, putting my ginger shot in me. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say the ginger shot was why I now feel alive, but yeah. Anyway, I'm feeling better, so let's get on with the day and have a productive day, and this is your sign to get up and move and go and get some fresh air, get yourself to the gym, just get yourself up, get yourself ready, and leave the house if you're feeling demotivated, because honestly, it just wonders, absolute wonders. So on that note, I'm going to shut up now. Okay, I'm in a mad rush. Just thought I'd quickly show you what I'm wearing. It actually isn't exciting. Um, I've just literally changed up my gym leggings. I've kept the same gym top on because I only put this on this morning and it's so nice. I just love it so much. Um, and I've just chucked on this like zip up oversized grey. Oh my god, has that got a mark on? Oh, 
I'm gonna try and get that off in the car, I've got some wipes. Um, yeah, it's just an oversized zip-up hoodie from In The Style. I love it so much, it's so comfy. Just a little bag, I've kept my hat on. Just because I've been in the gym, I still feel in active wear comfy mode. I don't want to like get dressed up. Like me and Gomma are only gonna like mood chat and just go for a little spot on lunch. So yeah, that's the mood I'm feeling today, which probably is most days. But anyway, I need to get a scoot on because I need to go and pick Grandma up. Um, so yeah, let's go out for some nice lunch. I had a tip to eat it. really is. <laughs> Are we doing a, a bit of a vlog? Or? Is this a vlog? <sighs> okay, guys, I am back from being out with my mum and grandma now. I didn't even really vlog anything, which is really poor. But to be honest with you, we didn't really do an awful lot, and it was a little bit hectic and chaotic. Uh, well, it wasn't chaotic, but it was, you know, we were busy, like, catching up, chatting. I was designated driver, and then, um, yeah, we just literally went to Boots. Grandma just picked up some essentials that she needed, and then we just went out for a meal. Um, we normally just go out for some, like, light lunch, or sometimes I do have more of a meal. Um, but, I don't know, I feel like after the gym session... I, I didn't really feel overly hungry. And do you know like, when you're in one of those moods where you don't really fancy anything? Um, they had kind of like light bites. This little probably went like jacket potatoes, sandwiches. But I don't really eat too much bread. Well, it's not that I don't eat too much bread. I like toast and things on toast. But like, do you know when it comes to sandwiches? I'm not really like a sandwichy person. I just didn't fancy one. And I didn't fancy jacket potato. And then the only real thing that I fancied on that menu was they said like they did salmon pasta so I was like oh that sounds nice I just thought it'd be like do you know what I mean quite a light pasta salmon like penne pasta that's what I thought it would be um but no when it came it was a huge portion it was like salmon spaghetti no it was like spaghetti pasta with a creamy sauce and the salmon bits was really nice but oh my god you know like when you've eaten something at lunch and it's just too much for a lunch and then you get home and you just crash like I got home and I've just had like half an hour nap I laid on the bed and I was like I am knackered like I can't can't do anything um but I've just suddenly woke myself up because so I was like no I've got so much to do so much work to get done um I've got emails and things like that to do so I've just dragged myself up done the washing up and now I'm just going to quickly hoover and then mum has just messaged me to say she's left her food shopping in the back of my car so I need to go and give her that go and do some vintage posting because I've got a couple of things from vintage to post thinking do I then go to like Starbucks or like a coffee place and just have like a power hour on my emails and admin because I was saying this to my cousin the other day sometimes I feel like I work so much better out of the house when you work at home because it's your home environment as well sometimes it's like I don't know like finding that motivation and that's something in you to work from home. I know that sounds really weird, but yeah, I just sometimes struggle with that. I sometimes find that when I leave the house and go to a coffee shop, um, I'm just more productive. So anyway, I'm gonna quickly hoover up because Mitchell will be home very shortly because he's always home for like three-ish. Um, and yeah, anyway, let's get the hoover in done first things first and then hopefully we can make the best of the af like rest of the afternoon and get something done. <laughs> morning everyone why is it so dark have i like altered the um settings or are we just gonna get lighter right it definitely was the settings um and now that i'm looking in the viewfinder i just remembered one thing i forgot to do before leaving the door and it was brush my ponytail um i'm in a bit of a like mad rush today i have so much to do so it's friday and i just all of a sudden feel like oh my god i have so much to get done work wise obviously it's the weekend i've got quite a busy weekend i'm actually out for lunch from around midday tomorrow and then literally gonna get straight back and start getting ready because it is danielle's big free eye on is it Monday, her birthday? When's the 13th? I think it's Monday. Um, and she's going to New York, actually, on the Tuesday, which is so exciting for her. Like, I am so excited for her because you guys will already know I went to New York, like, four years ago now, and it is, hands down, 
the best place I've ever been. I don't think anywhere that I've been since has like matched how amazing that was. It was one of those places, right, where normally I'm kind of like ready to come home. I'm a bit of a home girl. Like I love coming home to my cats and everything like that. But I genuinely could have stayed for another week. It was just so magical. And yeah, I just love New York. So she's going there. Um, but Saturday, tomorrow, we were actually going out in the evening for just a birthday get together we're going out for drinks which i never do i don't really drink an awful lot um like i was socially drinking stuff but i feel like the older i get the more i realize just how much i don't like drinking and it's not that i don't like drinking because i like drinking in the sense of i enjoy you know having a few and getting a little bit tipsy and merry and you know that feeling of just like having a few drinks but i feel like as i've got older one i've kind of learned that you need to really be you just have that limit with yourself right because i don't know about anyone else but alcohol for me always makes me anxious like as soon as i have a drink well not as soon as i have a drink but as soon as i hit like a mark and i go past having like let's say four and i'm like I'm starting to feel drunk if i carry on i then i don't know i don't really know how to explain this but i'm sure that someone can probably relate with what i'm saying but yeah it just brings out my anxiety and that's why i only like to drink until i just i'm on that level of like tipsy and then kind of stop and maybe switch to water or something because oh, i feel like you can soon just like you have a few drinks and then you think oh let's just like carry on and then you get carried away with yourself and then you end up getting really drunk anyway you probably wasn't here for this conversation but in a short what i was trying to get at is i obviously i'm just not the 21 year old no more like i'm 30 and with that i've been there and done that with the whole drinking and getting drunk and being silly with alcohol um and i just think like the older you get the more you realize like it's not worth it it's not worth going out and getting like really drunk and then feeling crap the next day like for me it writes the whole next day off it brings so much anxiety and i just don't like that so anyway i feel like this conversation is just turning into me discussing how i feel about drinking which wasn't the intention but yeah i think what i was trying to get at is i've not been out merely drinking in ages and that's what tomorrow it's like we're going to bars and drinking um so yeah don't get me wrong i'm really looking forward to it but like i say i just i know sometimes it can just go either way with going out like you know when you've not been out in ages and then like you just have a few drinks and get a bit excited and just end up drinking too much that's how i don't want it to go so yeah we're gonna be sensible and we are gonna be you know mature and like just pace ourselves have a drink have a water to be fair me and danielle are really good when we're together we like have a drink have a water like we pace ourselves and we're always on a really good level nowadays so anyway back to what i was saying um i'm really busy today so i need to now it's my mum's to get something for a video that i'm filming i should have picked it up yesterday completely forgot i'm filming a little hamper for river island for valentine's day and i'm so excited because it's right up my street and you guys just know i love doing things like this in general so yeah i need to get that filmed edited and sent across to river island um i also need to finish this vlog off um because i've been dragging it out over a few days now and well i say a few days this is the third day i feel like i'm picking it up but do you know when you just feel like something's just longing out um so i want to get this vlog finished and i need to go and get danielle a bag for her present something to put it in wrapping up paper or whatever um and i was also gonna like nip and get her just an extra little something else so i'll show you her present later i've got her some uggs for her birthday obviously it's her 30th birthday so i'm gonna spend a little bit more and um yeah she really wanted some uggs for new york and she can't get them anywhere like they're sold out they're still not come back in stock and she kind of said to me i really want uggs for my birthday i was like look i will be able to get you some trust me just leave it with me i feel like i can source things quite easily well not source things quite easily i'm not some like expert source of it you know what i mean i believed in myself that i could get them and believe it or not like 24 hours after she told me she wanted them i managed to get her a pair and she's so excited for them i did tell her because i needed to check that they were the right color so i've got those i've got something um else from joe malone and then i have got her oh yeah i was thinking about just getting her a dior lip oil because she loves her lip oils and i don't think she's got that one so it's gonna get her that and then i'm making her a cake today and then i need to go and get her some balloons tomorrow morning to take round because she wants some pictures before we go out so yeah anyway i am blabbering let's crack on because there is so much to do today and time is not of the essence today <laughs> every time i spray this i want to go into a coughing fit and i'm probably going to sneeze i am going to sneeze it's that perfume that must have something 
in that makes me sneeze. It is called the Kayali. Kay how do you pronounce this? Let me know if you know. Um, it's vanilla 28. It smells incredible. It's just such a light, everyday perfume. Oh, and I continue to spray more even though I'm now going to sneeze. By the way, if you've not watched my um, Essentials car video on TikTok, go and watch because this is a game changer for me, having all my little bits and bobs that sometimes you run out the house with and forget. Anyway, I'm going to shut up, let's get to my mum's and then we're going to nip up home sense to get my bits for Danielle and then get home and do my filming that I need to do. Sorry with this song. Do you think you're better? I'm sorry, but old school trance is the era. Okay, car rave done. Picked up my little hamper box from Mum's. This is what I got her for Mother's Day. Well, I made her a hamper, so she's kept the box. I was like, oh, brilliant, so I can reuse this. Um, and now I've just literally nipped up to the retail park, so I need to go to Hobbycraft for a nozzle for the cake that I'm going to make with Danielle. And um, where else am I going to go? I might as quickly grab a Starbucks just for some added energy. Oh, and we need to go to HomeSense, which is over there, just to see if we can get a gift bag. Um, so, right, let's not waste time. Let's go. Okay, it's definitely much busier than what I thought in here, so I've literally just come to the side of the store when no one is so I can vlog. Honestly, the gift packs are awful, guys. I'm on my phone, by the way. I've managed to find this one. Like, it's okay, but there literally isn't anything else. I've already looked in Asda. Um, I know it's only a gift bag, but I am that person that I like my gifts to look nice, so it's really bugging me, but um, this is just going to have to do it because I need something that fits the fruits in. So, yeah. Oh my god, guys, all the Easter stuff is in full force in Home Sense. Look at all of this. How cute. I am restricting myself this year. I'm not going to buy loads. So I might buy the odd thing, like this. I think this is really cute. How much is that? So price on. Typical. They have literally got so much Easter stuff in this year and like little gift bags and oh, it's all so cute. Loads of decor as well and like wreaths. There is wreaths. I don't know if I've shown you them. I'll try and move around. But like I say, it's so busy in here today. I can't even cope. <gasps> Look at them little banners. Honestly, I can't cope. Oh my God, guys. How cute are they? The little Easter baskets. Oh my God, they're so sweet. Why is that just the cutest thing ever? Oh my god, they've got yellow ones as well. They'd be so sweet for Easter. I don't need them. I don't need them. Walk away. <laughs> also, how cute are these little pink bowls? They've also got the matching face. I'm loving all the colour. Guys, Home Sense have got some beautiful things in. Let me just put this down. I think I'm going to go for a basket instead for Danielle's present and just put, I'm hoping they fit in. Do you know why not you're looking at everything and just don't know if it fits in or not? So I'm thinking it might fit in there. So I'm gonna pop it in there. And I just saw these, how nice, they're like 24 99 um, Just like a real nice chunky fro. Just think they're beautiful. They've got some really nice fro's in. But I am getting distracted majorly. And we need to get back, so. Do we think this is work will work? And then I'm just gonna wrap everything up like individually. I think that could be a vibe. So let's just go. Oh my god, it is 2.22. Guys, I'm literally on such a tight schedule. It didn't help that oh my god, why is it not staying here? I feel like Oh, that's that's why. Um, yeah, I'm on such a tight schedule, and I went home since, and I, I didn't know what to get. Like, they didn't have any nice gift bags, and I was just in a bit of a faff, and then I was getting distracted by the Easter stuff. It was just a whole drama. Um, I've just picked up a matcha because I'm 
determined for this Starbucks to make a good mash shot and have one. I've yet to experience a good one. Um, me and my cousin have come to the conclusion. It's all about how you make the drinks. It goes with coffee as well. You can have good ones and bad ones from Starbucks. It depends on the barista. And unfortunately, every barista at this retail park is rubbish at matcha. It always tastes so bitter. Even though it's the same thing I order when I go to the Foster Park one, but yet the Foster Park one is so good. I can already tell this looks way too green. It's not gonna be good. And he was new. He didn't know how to make it. When I went in, he was like asking the gal how to do it. So you just know it's not gonna be a good one. That is disgusting. Probably the worst one I've had yet. Oh. That just can't even have vanilla in. So, I even asked for two matcha spoonfuls, like not a lot, because um, normally they do three, so I only asked for two. Semi skim milk, vanilla syrup, it's literally the exact order that I have at the other place. Well, to be fair, I, I say three at the other place, but it just. disgusting. I don't know why I do it to myself, but I really fancied a matcha. I was like, oh. Because I had one the other day with my cousin and it was so nice. I was like, oh, I just really fancy a match today. But then when it's this bad, it's just like, why did I even bother? What a waste of a drink. I should have just tried to make it at home. I probably would have made it at home better. I need to get in that habit. Anyway, I'm going to not enjoy this, but I'm still going to drink it. And um, we're going to get back. Right, guys, I'm just at home now. Um, and I just thought I'd quickly show you my little setup, actually, and how I film my reels, just in case anyone's interested and just wanted to see a bit of the behind the scenes of actually what goes on. So I'm going to do it here. So as you can see, that is in the shot currently. I'm filming on my iPhone. I always film reels on my iPhone. Although I did try a fashion reel most recently on this camera that I'm on now and just honestly the quality isn't the same like the, obviously camera quality is so good but I feel like by the time you export it and everything into Instagram or TikTok it just doesn't I feel like it downgrades the quality so I always find that when I actually just film on my iPhone the quality still stays like amazing so anyway there's Mitchell chatting to me here we go. That's what we're looking at at the moment. And I'm gonna make the hamper on the table because I'm now filming a Valentine's Day hamper um, and it's part of a brand collaboration. So I just got this from my mum. Um, I think we might keep that pink tissue in there. I've also got this red like shredded tissue that I'm gonna pop in. And then I've got all the goodies to fill the hamper with. So yeah, I'm just gonna put you on a time lapse really because I need to crack on and get this filmed, edited and sent across. This night. I guess I'll take you home again It's so wrong to fight I'll keep you warm inside Okay guys, so it's a little later on now. Um, I've edited this content into over, it's all been approved. Um, so that is amazing and that was such a quick turnaround. They literally only messaged me a few days ago to get this done. So yeah, I'm so glad it's all done and I'm gonna upload tonight at a better time because it's like half past five now and I always feel like, I don't know, personally for me, I don't think that's the best time to upload on TikTok. I feel like seven o'clock is because that's when, you know, people are just like chilling and it's a Friday night as well. So yeah, I'm gonna post that at seven. Um, but this is the hamper, I just thought I'd quickly show you. I think it's turned out really nice. Obviously these bits are all from River Island. Um, so we've just got the iconic makeup bag um, with loads of goodies inside, which I always think is, this is a good gift because especially if a guy was to make this for his girlfriend, I feel like guys don't really know where to start with makeup so you just can't go wrong with a makeup bag full of makeup in there's going to be something for her in that um a beauty sponge not probably something a guy would think of but guys 
beauty sponges are always fab um this little set um it's actually like a bath set with like salts in bath soak um like a body oil and i think that's really cute we have here at the back this style pro mirror you can't really see it that well but it's basically an led mirror and it actually has like a little attachment where you just sit your phone so do you know like if you're someone like myself um that gets ready in the morning when it's dark so i mean i don't get ready in the dark every day because it depends where i'm am and what i'm doing but if i'm up like going to london and i'm up early you know what it's like in the morning it's dark so, so this mirror is firstly amazing because it's got the led light in so you can do your mirror easily in the dark but it also has a stand where you can put your phone on there and like watch youtube videos while you're getting ready which is what i always do or if you like filming maybe you could use it do you know like if you're filming a tiktok i don't know i'm gonna have to have a little look and um, then we've got a perfume we've got a real nice set of pajamas a face mask a hair mask a lingerie set and i think that's it is that everything yeah I think I've whisked through all of that um, and yeah just popped it all together I mean I know there's a lot here so you don't have to buy everything you could just get a couple of bits but I just think it gives an all-round like overview and a little bit of an idea of what you could put together <coughs> oh my throat all of a sudden I feel like I need to cough and um, but yeah anyway that is done I am now in my dressing gown because I was freezing um, and I actually need to nip out now to go and get some cake ingredients because I'm going to have a little bit of a baking evening. I feel like I've not stopped all day. Um, but like I say, tomorrow I'm out for Danielle's birthday so I need to make her... Who's that? Sorry, like my ring doorbell's going off. Um, I need to make her a cake tonight. I want to at least get all the cake made and maybe the crumb coat done and then we can decorate in the morning but I need to do some of it. So... We're going to do a carrot cake, so let's nip to Tesco, go and get the ingredients and start baking. The sky is so pretty right now I wonder if you're pretty eyes Okay, please excuse the state of me right now. Um, have I got the main light on? Yeah, I have. Um, I haven't touched up my makeup for hours and it is now like nine o'clock and I've only just started baking. I got home, I did dinner and then um, like had to sit down for a little minute, had to then upload some vid to TikTok and like that was just playing me. And anyway, it's now nine o'clock and I've just spent a good like 15 minutes just weighing out all the ingredients, sorting all that out. And yeah, now I'm ready to bake. So I'm doing a carrot cake. I will leave the recipe in the description box. It's one that my mum's found for me. She's so funny. I said, can I have your carrot cake recipe? She's like, I don't actually know what it is I use. I just make it up every time I do it. So she's found one that she thinks is similar. I need to just chop these up before I forget. So we've got light brown sugar, self-raising flour, sunflower oil, orange rind. Um, I've just, I'm gonna use two six inch tins. Um, four eggs and obviously the carrot um, so yeah let's see how this turns out but normally mum puts orange in her carrot cake and honestly it tastes so good sugar eggs oil oops I'm walking with all these thoughts are running yell and catch me if you can <laughs> Try to take a stand. Oh, and they keep asking where the hell I'm going. Who I've been for the rest of my life. Well, I don't know where time is gonna take me. No, I'm just trying to take my time. I'm dreaming in my coffee. Oh my goodness 
I did a thing, I didn't actually record and finish showing you off the cake I was making for Danielle's birthday and I'm really gutted, I'm so gutted. So it is the day after the night I went out. So Joe House on you was going out for Danielle's birthday, so I went out last night. Um, and yeah, yesterday just ended up becoming a mad rush. Like it literally went from, from 0 to 100. I had to decorate and sort the cake out in the morning. Um, then I had to like tidy up and obviously there's always so much mess after you've made a cake. Then I had to go out for lunch and then get ready. When I got home, like it involved having a bath, hair wash, all of that good stuff. Then I had to sort out Danielle's present. Then I had to go and get her some heli 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 helium balloons. Um, and yeah, anyway, basically time just got away with me. And before I knew it, I didn't vlog anything. I didn't vlog. Didn't vlog showing you the finished cake. I didn't vlog showing you like what I got Danielle for her birthday. And I'm just really good, to be honest with you. Um, but I just thought I'd come back on because I've just edited this vlog. And um, yeah, I thought I'm not going to take the cake bit out because that cake ended up being so nice, um, like taste-wise. The recipe was amazing. So if you looking for a good carrot cake recipe i definitely recommend that so i'm going to pop it in the description um but yeah also i will just leave the cake here i did take a picture so i'll show you what it looked like but anyway i'm not going to chew your ears off and ramble for too long i just merely thought i would pick up the camera and finish off this vlog um by the way i've got colored contact lenses in today what do we think i'm a contact lens wearer anyway because i can't see um, and i just thought this time i'd pick up some colored ones just to like try quite like them just think it changes like the whole face anyway guys i'm feeling actually okay um so yeah as i said went out last night didn't end up drinking too much i had like six drinks i'd say um spread out over the evening i definitely did feel drunk <laughs> but i don't feel hungover so that is a massive plus i feel fresh i feel fine i just feel really tired hence the eye bags um but yeah anyway i'm gonna sign off now because it is sunday it's like midday now not a lot has happened and I want to get the house cleaned and tidy for the week ahead and just have a little bit of a productive day around the house really. Um, so anyway, thank you so much for watching if you've got this far. Don't forget, I do have a HelloFresh code. So if you want to take advantage of that, then I'll leave it in the description box for you to check out. Anyway, I shall see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.